hello everybody can we just discuss how amazing it feels to be back home i'm so happy to be in my familiar environment back in my office like catching up on everything that i've missed out on like tidying my wardrobe and I actually kind of realized like last week that i did that video with christina i realized how much i actually like organizing my life and my space and just planning ahead i know planning doesn't always work out but i love to do it so i'm back home and i wanted to start this video um even though it's kind of late at night normally when i start vlogging i vlog in the morning so i kind of start vlogging early in the day but today i really wanted to film this video because i wanted to unbox some stuff that i have received while i was gone i was away for two weeks exactly you guys know the story marrakesh marseille venice lago di garda genova then around liguria then Cannes, nice monaco milan and then belgrade for like one day i was kind of like incognito and i mean like i just went there for like literally a second and then i flew back home so that's basically it i have managed to unpack those are my things that are going for dry cleaning i have kind of tidied i'm gonna organize everything that i have to do today including the old videos that are going live in the next few weeks i want to film i want to be like super kind of like organized and structured which is what I will be doing tomorrow. So I have a lot of things going on. I want to film a video that I promised you guys. Can you see about um, my lash growth? I literally never in my life had these eyelashes or these kind of eyebrows. Obviously, you guys know that um, actually my eyebrows are microbladed. So the shape is microbladed and it was done by the best microblader in the world if you ask me and also my friend nez hassan nez is just literally the most incredible person ever but anyway i'll bring a dedicated video to my kind of lash grow and my hair grow because my hair is also like better than ever it's growing so fast and it's getting so long now so i'm gonna do a whole dedicated video to that it's just got obviously a layer of mascara no lvl no nothing like this is but like look at these lashes like mentioned i was away for around two weeks and when i got back home i received some amazing gifts that i was so 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 grateful for and so happy for i also while i was gone and just a little bit before purchased a few new things that i wanted to show you in today's video i know this is going to be quite a random one but i kind of just felt like sitting down chatting to you guys and speaking to you about the newest things in my wardrobe so before we start right away a disclaimer the first two items that i am going to show you are things that i have received with uh, that i have received from prs so they are pr gifts and items that were waiting for me as presents at home and then um, the other items that i'm going to show you are things that i have purchased over the past few weeks with my own money let's start right away i'll start with the item that i completely did not expect and got so excited and so surprised when i received in the post and it is present from my louis vuitton family you guys know one of my absolute favorite brands i mean like who wouldn't say that louis vuitton isn't one of their absolute favorite brands i really don't understand it's sort of an unboxing but sort of isn't because it hasn't like it's not really really wrapped so it's just magnetic closure and i already unboxed it so i'm just gonna show it to you straight away before actually i show you the item i'm gonna read the card dear tomorrow we hope that you will enjoy summer with a new louis vuitton on the go tote bag with all our love the louis vuitton team on the go it's going to be a perfect replacement well not replacement basically uh, my dior tote the book tote is getting personalized so it's going to be away for a few weeks and it's getting replaced with on the go tote from louis vuitton which is like their colorful tote so this is the red side this is the pink side there's like a yellow with purple this is so louis vuitton this color combination and then there is orange with light light pink i would say and um it comes with the shoulder straps which are white 
and black just like the straps it sort of looks like a little bit like never full but more structured and more cool inside it's i would say this is like pink ballerina canvas it has over here two pockets and a zip pocket and you can see how it closes excuse my nails you guys know i'm recovering still from the gel so i actually have taken off the gels for a while now it's gonna be a month and then i'm gonna go back to it and i'm really enjoying it like i yesterday completely completely filed my nails to the shortest they have been in a very long time so now i'm kind of wearing them short but they just got like the the kind of protecting nail polish over i love this tote so much it's going to be so perfect let me show you how wait this is going to be my ultimate travel combo so i've got my horizon and the on the go tote which is incredible also guys like i really really like sometimes i cannot uh, focus at home when i'm working because obviously i work from home and sometimes i cannot just focus at home so i like to take my laptop to take it to town and just like put earphones in and work from like a cafe like a cafe shop or place or whatever and this tote will be perfect because it can fit my laptop all the chargers like you know everything that i will need which side do you prefer the pink side or the red kind of cannot decide i also like that it has the shoulder strap because these kind of bags tend to get heavy for me so this will be so useful so huge huge thanks to my beloved Louis Vuitton family you guys are the best I love you and this is just so beautiful cannot wait to wear it this is going to be my ultimate travel I do so many like travel pics at the airports because I just like love traveling and I love that part of like getting at the airport like boarding the plane very soon and these two will be my besties that was completely unexpected like I did not expect to receive that uh, whereas the next item was expected this one here and I've, in fact I've chose my English kind of betrays me late at night usually basically I have chosen the color and everything else of this next item which is actually boxed so this is also unboxing this is just so sweet love my dear ladies so much i've like worked with them for so long now and they're just incredible when i started blogging and blogging and all of that i decided which kind of path i wanted to go straight away because actually when i started the whole point was uh to meet other people to kind of um meet make friends and also i was reading a lot of reviews of products of makeup products and things like that so i always thought like i would buy things based on products product reviews and i would always like look up to girls like fleur fleur de forest who does like i think really great beauty reviews i would like look up at like people and like really 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 trust their opinion on like products or items etc so i never wanted to give like false reviews which is what kind of I, I was i guess very lucky in the sense because that led me to only working with best of brands like dior like louis vuitton like fendi like cartier you know because i've only just worked with brands that i really love that i believe in and that i would buy myself so i guess i'm kind of very lucky that my integrity and also like the amount of times like christina and i said in the recent videos the amount of times that we said no to money because we just we're not in this business to make money i just want to work with brands that i love that i care about to make friends um, in the industry and to kind of like really enjoy in this whole process and in this whole you know how it kind of develops which for me is very exciting because it's very much developing lately but anyway i'm kind of like going off tangent i wanted to unbox this because i know what's in there and i'm very excited to see it in real life even though i already wore anyway you'll you'll see you'll see you'll see let's do this beautiful wrap Okay. I would say if you want to buy a handbag, just making sure that it is the, the color that I like chose. Um, if you're gonna buy one handbag this season and you want to have like an it piece of the season, then I think it should be the Dior 30 Montagne, their new 
handbag. I mean, is there a prettier color than this? This is just so pretty. Look at this, you guys. It's so stunning. I have already shot this, but I and worn this at a few events, but I've actually worn a sample, so it wasn't the one that's mine. It was the one that um, I used for the, like few events and attending things. But now this one is mine, and I'm so freaking happy about it. This is kind of how it opens and closes so it has this beautiful clasp mine is full leather at the back it says 30 montan which by the way you guys is the iconic um address in paris where the first christian dior uh, boutique and everything started so it's like a very 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 important place for this fashion house and yeah this is the strap so beautiful the color is so stunning i actually don't think i own a bag in this color no Everything's either pinker or beige, but this is just so beautiful. So you press it at the bottom, and this is how it opens. Inside it's full leather. I'll show you. So full leather inside has a pocket here, and then has a pocket at the back there which zips. And then this is how it closes. Then there's a button at the bottom which you open which opens the bag. This bag is just so stunning. I love how classic it is and the leather is so perfect. So yeah, like I said, there's that back pocket as well for maybe some kind of important things. And as you can see, it says embossed 30 montagne. This bag comes in many different prints, shapes, colors. Um, for example, monogram, burgundy and navy, uh, black, white, uh, kind of like a greenish, minty, kind of not minty, but more like limey color also kind of like a rouge color many different colors i love it i think it's beautiful and um cannot wait to wear it this summer like with dresses with my zimmerman dresses with simple white dresses with jeans and a t-shirt anything really it is going to be the it bag that you really want to look into if you are into bags this season let's continue now created a bit of mess around me but that's okay i don't really have many 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 things to show you but just a few that I have acquired lately. So I haven't been shopping much, but then I did place a huge My Theresa order last night. So that, like My Theresa haul, kind of like a designer haul, a lot of things from Gucci, from Balenciaga, from Zimmerman, some shoes, some clothes, summer pieces, etc. So that video is going to be coming in next few weeks. But until then, I wanted to show you a few other uh, pieces that I have um, purchased in the last month, over a month, I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you. Talking about Dior still, I recently got also this Dior belt. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I have the same exact belt in black, which is what I got when I was in Milan during Milan Fashion Week. It was like the only item that I got um during fashion month and you actually could see that in my dior collection video which has just expanded a little bit this belt i love so much and i already wore it several times i'm getting so many compliments on it especially on instagram pictures whenever i post one i posted i think two so far and you guys seem to love it as well i just like it because the black one is perfect it's perfect over like blazers over something very simple for evenings over like kind of more embellished dresses and more detailed dresses but this one is like kind of goes with simpler things when something's very simple and kind of boringish it adds a bit of spice i'm size 75 in belts and it is a little bit like i could go for 70 if i really want to wear it snug on the waist but um 75 is good as well because that way i can also wear it over a coat like i have enough space etc so i kind of counted for that as well also it will probably mean that i can eat a little bit more and gain some weight my problem is that i have a very small waist and then my hips aren't that small so when i when i'm trying to like buy kind of proportional stuff like for example jeans or skirts that are high waisted it's always a nightmare because if they're snug on the waist they are very very tight on the hips and if they are um if they go over my behind then they are very like huge on my waist my mom told me she had the same problem when she was kind of my age so 
I guess it's genetics. Now, I have three pairs of shoes to show you. You've kind of seen two. You've kind of seen three. But I wanted to show them to you a bit more like closer because I think they deserve all the attention in the world. Now, one of them are these Gucci sandals that I think are so beautiful. They're from the holiday uh, Gucci collection. I've already worn them so much. It doesn't really like seem like it, but I've worn them a lot. And they're extremely comfortable. I hate touching like shoes kind of at the bottom in general like i wash my hands so many times after showing shoes i'm trying to demonstrate um the heel is not too high as you can see it's kind of like interesting heel that it goes a bit like inward like inwards kind of thing ha they have these beautiful like crystals in the front and the bows which reminds me a little bit of my silver bow gucci heels that are I think those are a little bit more sexy these are a little bit more fashion so yeah absolutely absolutely love them and I think I will wear these a lot so I have those for more like silver occasions and these are more for like gold occasions because I like to wear both which is why I love um, watches which are gold and silver a combination rather than having like just for example silver or gold but you guys know that the jewelry i go for is mostly gold jewelry so i don't really wear silver jewelry pretty much ever i think another jewelry collection is due what do you guys think anyway talking about silver or gold just to kind of keep you on your toes thinking wait is this girl all about gold or all about silver i've shown you these i got them in barcelona i was looking for them in london but my wonderful sales associate in chanel told me that they did not get them at the time and i absolutely love them they are from la playa collection the beach chanel by the sea and at the back they have this chanel logo block heel and this is what they look like i absolutely love them and what i love about them so much is that they are very very comfortable because of the block heel they kind of have that more like kind of casual vibe so i wouldn't really wear these for a crazy night out when like everyone's getting so dressed up and like so elegant or fancy or something like that but more for like a dinner when i want a dinner and like a drink by the bar night really like them love the silver kind of slightly almost like distressed looking leather is this in focus of course not there we go and i love the chains so that's what i think is very beautiful okay Two more items to show you. Next pair of shoes that I have to show you. I'm embarrassed to show you because you guys. I bought them maybe 12 days ago. And I've worn them more than 10 times. I literally don't ever want to take these shoes off. They're the most comfortable shoes. And I just love looking at them. But they are so expensive. That I don't know if I kind of like shot myself in the foot a little bit. By buying such an expensive like more than a thousand like such an expensive pair of shoes that get dirty so easily but then at the same time i wore them so much i'm sure i'll be able to clean them but you guys know that i got them uh in a con the chanel camellia white trainers now like they're mainly dirty on the like this bit here not so much on the camellias and on lace but mainly on the leather and on this kind of inverted leather but I'm gonna try and clean them and if, clean them and if that doesn't work I will take them to shoe dry cleaning because now that's what exists as well what I love about them so much is that they are the actual most comfortable pair of sneakers that I have and I think that's mainly due to the insole now how am I gonna show you that can you see the insole there like it's a bit um, kind of anatomic uh, like it's kind of like made to support your foot arch and that's why they're so so comfortable i wore them so much at the back they say chanel in cursive and i honestly think these are one of the most beautiful shoes and sneakers that i have ever owned i love them i honestly think they are incredible they're they're very very comfortable like i said i just wear them with a slip sock and i love wearing them either with jeans or with dresses incredible I also know that they do like boots some of my friends already bought like boots from the same collection but for me sneakers made so much more sense so that's what i got and i got one last thing that i saw in uh Renaissance when i was in milan i saw this and i fell in love with it but i was like no i'm not gonna buy it like no way 
and then I bought it, took a picture with it for the stories and I got so many DMs from you guys, so many saying that you are looking for the exact same item with the exact same print. I think it's the new print that's coming up but you guys let me know if I'm wrong. And I saw it last day, day before leaving Milan and then after having like a super successful meeting uh, <laughs> early morning in Milan I was like I'm gonna go and treat myself. And then I went in and tried it on, I was like, I'm not gonna buy it, like I don't really need it. But then I was like, I love it. And then I ended up leaving with it and wearing it again a lot. So much more than I ever thought I would. So I'm going to show it to you now. Here it is. This is my brand new Balenciaga Hourglass Blazer. I'm going to put it on just so you can see the print and the color a bit better. Oh, I love this so much. I love wearing it. I love how structured it is. Maybe not over this sweater. <laughs> But, and I also have a t-shirt underneath but look how stunning it is so these Balenciaga blazers actually close um, man's way so like woman would close a blazer like this but a man blazer closes like this this is what I mean by hourglass it has this shape here and I already actually have a blazer um, which has this hourglass I can close this button obviously as well but I mainly wore it open because I like it that way. Why is this so washed out? Hopefully it'll be better on, on the screen. I just absolutely love the shape, the colors, the kind of like check print. And I can wear this so many different ways. I have my little Balenciaga. Look at this. I also have my hot pink knife heels that could go like really like nicely with this and so many other cute pieces that could work with this item. I think I can officially finish this little video which was kind of a I got back home a small update what I got recently because I'm getting so many new things in as well. Um, especially now with like pre-sale sales so a lot of things are coming in a lot of new items which is why I wanted to get this out of the way and properly show you everything that I got I hope you liked it let me know what you thought about this kind of like more casual type of video I'm gonna make a lot of planning now and organize everything that's coming up so please let me know if you have any requests for any kind of videos in the near future I'll be noting down all the suggestions and all the requests Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.